And we're back with Love is Everywhere, with Love Manifestations, with the amazing, lovely Rose Love. And this time, we'll, let's talk about abundance. Because love is abundance also. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Abundance is definitely a mindset that you have to have if you want to have love or manifestation. Because a lot of people, they live their life in a way where sometimes if they see that somebody else has something or somebody else is doing something, they want to compete. They start to think that they need to have that from that person as if that's the only success that there is in the world. That's not abundant. And when you live in that kind of a place, the opposite starts happening. You start seeing that everything is scarce because you believe that there's only a limited amount. When you're abundant, you don't need to compete. You don't have to feel like there's only one because you know that there's a limitless amount. You know that the universe will give to you and you can trust and you can cheer everyone else on because it doesn't, it doesn't scare you. You know that it's coming to you and you're just thankful and you're just relaxed. Yes. Just be grateful. Yes. Be in a state of gratitude and whatever you ask the universe to give you, you ask God what you want, it just manifests itself. It just shows itself. Mm-hmm. That's what the law of attraction is all about. Yes. When I discovered, this is how I discovered it. Can I share? Sure. So I pray and I pray a lot because uh, that's, that's how I was raised and that's how I meditate by praying. So whenever I, I prayed and prayed to God to give me this, to give me that, or do this, do that. But I still worried. So when you're worrying, that means you're not trusting God 100%. Mm-hmm. So when that, when I realized that, God, of course, gave me that idea, the light turned on. I stopped worrying. That is when this law of attraction started happening. I, whenever I need something, I pray to God and I just give it to Him. I'm in that state of gratitude. I am grateful. That's why on my Facebook, I'm always grateful. Because if you are in that great gratitude state mm-hmm. and you're happy and joyful and you are not worried because God's taking care of everything or the universe for that matter, then you are in this state of euphoric love. Yes. Yes, yes. That's, what, that's the word, euphoric. Mm-hmm. Euphoria. So I don't know the exact meaning of euphoria at the moment, but I know it's really that high state of happiness and joy. Definitely. That's yes. a beautiful word to use. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so being abundant, mm-hmm. you have to, it's not you have to, you must think of abundance. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, like we are talking about uh, businesses who are struggling. Because they worry about where they get the money to pay their bills, where the, the money is going, is the business going to be productive? Is it going to be able to take care of everything we need to? That is the, that's why they're in the state of lack, because they are worrying again. Fear mindset, definitely. Fear mindset. See, worry is fear, mm-hmm. right? So mm-hmm. if you are in that mindset, what you think multiplies. Definitely. So be in an abundant state and abundance. Oh, I love it. So tell me more about whatever else you're doing because you are such a beautiful, amazing, joyful goddess that you are. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. I do my best to always contribute um, anything creative, whether it's videos, meditations, or I also like to collaborate with other people. Anything that's inspirational that could lift people up. Because like I said, when you live in an abundant mindset, you understand that we are all connected and that helping others actually helps yourself Yes. because we're not oh, separate or yeah. one person. Absolutely. When the universe can see you cheering someone else on and being happy for them, you also get more to cheer on for yourself and more mm-hmm. happiness comes to you. Yes, that's true. And like collaborating, I think we are going to be collaborating in more projects. That would be great. Yes, because I have a lot of projects in my mind right now and I... My focus now is community service. And I believe that giving is, in fact, let me share something. Giving is like self, selfish. This is from Galit. Hello, Galit. How are you there? I miss, I need to come and talk to you, by the way. Galit, Galit Bentor Rusen, she's a inspirational speaker. In fact, she is a mentor for business owners. Mm -hmm. And 
I met her in the Infinity Business Conference and I interviewed her. And she shared that giving is quite selfish. Why? Because it makes you feel good. Mm. Because it's they say that giving is better than receiving. Because you feel really good when you're mm -hmm. giving. Like you said, you want to share. Because when you share, multitudes will come back to you. It definitely does. Yes, this is the mindset for the for the abundant people. Yes, abundant mindset. Abundant mindset. They're giving a lot without expecting anything. Because the universe is going to give back to you anyway. Yes. So you give and give what you have and it will come back to you in multiples. Mm -hmm. And when I started doing that, this law of attraction made it more, what's that, evidence? Mm -hmm. Or it made it more strong? Right. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Yeah, sir. like it, it definitely impacted. And it sounds like you're a master manifestation. <laughs> Because you you understand it, you you live in a very high, happy, loving place, and yes. that's what I love about you. Mm, when I you. first met you, I could feel your your beauty and your energy oh. and your happiness just radiating, and it's definitely a blessing to be around you and to be on your show as well. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, I love to be around people. I'm a I don't know why I started accounting in the first place because I don't like working in the office or numbers. But somehow, anyway, that helped me understand the mechanics or the dynamic of business, I think. That's, that's how I got into that. Mm -hmm. But people, they describe me as all heart wow. and high energy. Mm -hmm. Well, because I'm high energy because I'm living in this euphoric, joy, joyful state. And everywhere I go, and of course, there are, there are times when there are sad people around, depressed people around, and I can feel it. So I try to change the situation because you can do that. Yes, you definitely I think can. It, because since love is the highest vibration and you are a strong, high energy person like me, you can change the tide. Mm -hmm. Meaning you can change like what I do. I make it a point. I make it as um, objective or purpose every day to talk to a stranger, make them smile, make them feel, make them feel that they are important. Because you don't know what's going on in somebody's life. Right. I try not to be judgmental. I used to be. Well, before, that was my other life. I used to be judgmental. And people judge according to themselves. Definitely. Like someone who is cheating, they will say that the other, like for a husband and wife, and the husband is accusing his wife to be cheating because he is cheating. Yeah, I noticed yes. that. That definitely happens a lot. So that's how it is. So when your sister or brother is telling you bad things about someone or somebody, they are basing it upon themselves. And they're basing it on their own uh, what do you yeah. call that? state of mind. Right. Yeah, they're reflecting themselves onto you. Yes. Because to them it feels better if they... If they point at you instead of realizing that that's their reflection, that's that, right. that has nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if somebody tells you something, it is not your problem; it's theirs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so if you're pointing at someone, makes remember <laughs> the three fingers are pointing at yourself. So you better watch that out. Yeah, and yeah, it is just it's just so amazing. Love is wonderful. Love is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, and also life. Life is wonderful. That was what is that song by Barry White? Is that? It's a wonderful world. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a blessing just to be able to breathe, just to live, just to wake up every day. If you focus on blessings, then your life will be blessed. Mm -hmm. You don't have to live inside of a sad, dark place. That's right. People who radiate and who are happy, they're a lighthouse. Yes. And when you're a lighthouse, it doesn't matter how dark the room is or anything else. You brighten it up. And that's my job because my name is Luz, by the way, and it means light. Oh, so that's I'm, beautiful. That's yes. symbolism. So when my when I was young, I did not like my name. I wanted to change it to Maria Lourdes Bernadette, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but then when I when I when the light the switch turned on and the law of attraction and all that happened, I realized yes, my that's why my name is light because I'm supposed to be the light. Yes. And that's what, that's what I am now. I believe I am. I believe it too. Yes. I think that God had a mission for you. And oh, that's yes. just one of the few clues that you've seen right now. But mm -hmm. I'm sure you're going to start seeing many more. 
Yes. In fact, we are talking about this homeless initiative in the global homeless. Mm. It starts in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. It's gonna go. It will go to Africa and South America. That's great. It's awesome. Because and then somebody asked me, why not here where we are? Well, you know, there's already a lot of projects, a lot of people mm -hmm. working on that where we are. So we're as, we're there in third world countries. They still need a lot of help. Definitely. And that is one of my missions now is to create a, a way for me to be able to help the people out there. Because I am doing my best to help the people here too. And yes, we have a lot of uh, work to do. We're doing God's work. That's Definitely. what you said earlier. Yes, I agree. And so we are almost over. And this segment, and we have more to talk about. What are we going to talk about in the next segment, Rose? Hmm, you might have to stay tuned to find out. Oh, I like that. Surprise. <laughs> so everyone, stay tuned. We have one more segment to go. Mia Morris, stay. Don't go away.